Hi guys, welcome to this fun craft. Hopefully you stopped by the library and you picked up the materials to make a Valentine butterfly. So in your bag, you should have four hearts that are about this size, four hearts that are about that size, and you should have this little length of pipe cleaner as well, okay? You might also have some of these little jewels in your bag as well, okay? So now I'm gonna be showing you how you can put those items together to make the Valentine butterfly craft, if you haven't already. So uh, I don't want to use any of the materials that I we're sending in the bags for you guys. I want to save them for you. So I went ahead and traced them on paper. And if you did not stop by the library and get a craft, that's fine. You want to cut out a heart that is about the size of your palm. So you can see that about the size of your palm. Mom or dad's palm. You can use mom or dad's palm. That's fine too. Okay, so you're going to want them about that size. And then you're gonna want a heart that if you put your two fingers together like this, that would be the two bumps, it's about that size. Okay, so you want something about that size. Kind of like in the very, very middle part of the palm. Okay, so that's the size that you want. You're gonna need four of the bigger ones and four of the littler ones. And then for the pipe cleaner, you could just use a strip of paper or two strips of paper. So as you watch this video, you're gonna to get to see how we're using all of these materials. And then you can um, figure out what you wanna use from home if you don't have these materials uh, from your Valentine's bag. So just because you didn't get a bag, don't feel like you can't do this craft. You absolutely can. I would just recommend, um, if you didn't get a bag, I would recommend watching the video first and then going back and making it once you've decided what materials that you wanna use in place of the materials that were in the bag, okay? All right, you guys, so if you um, have everything and you're ready, go ahead and get your four hearts, your four big hearts, your four littler hearts, your pipe cleaners, and stickers or jewels, whatever you have to decorate it, okay? I'll see you in a minute and we'll get started. All right guys, now that you have all of your materials, you are also going to need a Sharpie. So you'll need something to write with and I recommend that it is a marker. And you're also gonna need some glue. So I have this glue here. I recommend the liquid glue for what we're gonna be working with today. Um, and if you have a bag, you're gonna have hearts that have some lattice or some open spaces on the surface of them. Um, so you're gonna wanna make sure that you try to get your glue on the solid parts of the heart, okay? So to start with, go ahead and get two of your hearts and we're gonna turn them this way and kind of have them overlap just a little bit. So we're gonna be gluing them so they look like this. Just kind of overlapping right at these points. You're just gonna kind of overlap it a little. So I'm gonna get my glue and I'm just gonna use a little dot. Now, if you're using the lattice hearts from the bag, you're gonna wanna maybe put a little dot on the solid part and then set your other heart right on top of it. Just like that. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to line it up perfectly. I always think it looks a little bit better if it's not perfect. It gives a little bit of character, right? Like I always say, uniqueness is what we're looking for, not perfection, okay? Now, you can get your next two hearts and we'll do them one at a time. With these, what you're gonna try to do is make sure that this little curve right here goes in this little curve right here in this space, okay? So we're gonna try to match this to this. We're gonna lay it down and try to match this to this. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue right here kind of a little bit and you don't need a lot so make sure that when you are squirting out your glue you're not squirting a ton you really don't need a ton for this craft okay so now we're going to do the same thing on this side we want to make sure that this edge here is going to go inside of this space here so I'm going to lay it down this way and we want this this part here to go on this part here okay so once again we're gonna put a little bit of glue. I'm gonna put just like a little smiley face of glue. A little smiley face, that makes me feel happy. Okay. Remember, we're not looking for perfection. 
We're just looking for uniqueness and character. So you should, you should have something that looks kind of like that. Okay? So we've got that. Now, we're going to take one of the little hearts. You decide which one you want it to be. If you have a bag, you have some that are self-adhesive, meaning that they have a paper on the back and you're just going to peel the paper off and stick it on there. If you're like me and you trace, then you're going to have these paper hearts. Um, so you're going to need to glue them on there, okay? But if you have the ones from the bag that have the self-adhesive, you're not going to need to use glue for these hearts, okay? So you can ignore this part, but still watch for um, how to put them onto your butterfly. Okay, so you're going to choose one of your hearts, whether you have a bag or paper. You're going to want to get your marker, okay? And I recommend a dark color, a dark purple, a dark black, a dark brown. You want a dark color. And we're going to make a little face. So I'm going to start by drawing two little oval eyes, just like that. And then I'm going to make a little smile. And I like to put little crescents little crescent shape on the end of that. So he's got little cheeks. So you should have a little face that looks something like that. Little smile face, okay? And that is gonna go here at the top of the butterfly. What's also gonna go at the top of the butterfly is this. And this is your pipe cleaner antenna. So you have this little length of it and what you're gonna wanna do is fold it up like this. Now, if you do not have pipe cleaner, you can use strips of paper. You can just cut two rectangles out of paper. And you really just need them about, I don't know, maybe about an inch or two, an inch and a half long, about that size, okay, just to give you an idea. So you're going to bend your pipe cleaner into a V shape. We're going to put some glue right there. Now, for even if you have the bag, you will need glue for this part because you have to have your pipe cleaner stick on there, okay? And then we're gonna put a little bit more glue on top of the pipe cleaner, and that is for our heart. So we're gonna put our heart face right there, and you wanna kinda put it so it looks like the antenna are sticking right out of the heart. So it should look something like that. Okay, that's his little face. And now we're gonna go ahead and put the rest of the hearts going straight down the middle to make his body. So with the point of that heart, we're gonna try to get the point in that curve there. So I'm gonna put a little dot of glue. Now if you have the bag, you won't need to use glue for this part. You can just peel the back off and stick your hearts on, okay? The only part you're really gonna need glue for if you have the bag is for attaching your uh, hearts together, the first part that I showed you. Okay. And then one more. And there we go. So using four big hearts and four little hearts and a little piece of pipe cleaner, we have created an awesome, awesome butterfly. Now at this point, if you have some stickers at home that you wanna use, maybe they're really cute little butterfly stickers, maybe they're hearts, maybe they're flowers, maybe they're Paw Patrol. Whatever they are, you can stick it on there, okay? You can also use these little jewels if you have these in your bag or if you have some sparkly things, maybe some pom-poms at home, you can use those as well. If you have the bag, you would have gotten this paper that shows you the example of the craft up there, what it's gonna look like if you have the bag. And at the bottom, it has this little box. It says, you make my heart flutter, love. And then you can put your name right here, cut the box out, and you're gonna glue that on the back of your butterfly. So you can give your butterfly, this is a Valentine, and you can give it to someone special. So maybe you came and you got one bag, Right, I think we're doing about one per child. So if you came and got one, but maybe there's someone else you wanna make one for, now you know how to do it, right? So you just need four big hearts, 
four little hearts, a, a little, either two strips of paper or a little piece of pipe cleaner, and then you can use whatever you want to decorate it. You can put some stickers on there. You can even take markers or crayons and color some designs on there. If you don't have the paper that has the little box on it here, you can turn it over yourself and write your own message. You could say, you know, mom, I love you and put your name on there, right? It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be something unique and special and just from you. And I'm gonna tell you right now, as long as your Valentine is something that you made with love and care for someone that you care about, that person is gonna be thrilled with it, even if it is crooked. I can promise you that, right? Because I don't like things that are perfect. I like them to have uniqueness and character. I like that. In fact, those are my favorite projects that my son brings me. All right, you guys, I hope you have a great holiday. Thank you so much for joining me for this. And as you can see, I'm the queen of hearts today. <laughs> so if you happen to make a Valentine butterfly, whether you use paper from home like I showed you, or whether you use one of the bags that you picked up at the library, show us, please, like our video on to Larry Public Library YouTube, like our post on Facebook, and please post a picture of your awesome craft on our Facebook page. I love to see them. All right, you guys, have a good one, and I'll see you next time for another awesome craft. Bye!